quiet farming countryside village of Staunton on Wye in Herefordshire sits the imposing Gothic landmark of the Grade 2 listed George Jarvis School. The school was funded by the late George Jarvis, who died in 1793. George Jarvis would have been very displeased, as he stated this very passage in his will. My mind and will is that none of the said monies will be appropriated in erecting any public buildings whatsoever. To get around this, an Act of Parliament was required to vary the terms. The resulting buildings were completed in 1860. In more modern times, the building had changed its use in the 1980s, becoming a youth hostel. Even then, it was renowned for its ghostly apparitions, poltergeist activity and strange occurrences. Things are often seen moving around the different rooms within the building. Disembodied footsteps have been witnessed walking along the corridors. Loud bangs and distressing wailing sounds have been heard by those visiting this building. The locals often speak about the ghostly man looking out of the top floor window, which they believe is the unsettled and angry spirit of George Jarvis. After all, his money was used to erect this building, which went against everything in his will. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the George Jarvis School. We've returned back to the George Jarvis School. We'd done this location a few months back and we enjoyed it so much, we wanted to come back. We are joined... What's that say? Four. Four. It's four of us. Um, there is, I was just about to say, we are here tonight with Amy's Crypt. We are gonna team up with them a bit later on in the investigation, do a vigil with them. But yeah, we are with those guys. A massive shout out to Haunted Happenings for sorting this entire night out, so. We're just going to get straight into it. This location's got a lot of history. If you haven't seen our video from our first visit, obviously go check it out. Um, there'll be a link in the description and you know all those other good places. But we did get some good activity, um, especially if we are about to conduct a paranormal investigation. So Amy and Jared are downstairs, all the way on the bottom floor. We do have the mail room at the top of these stairs. Um, they're all the way down the bottom. Now it was in this section that last time we heard the footsteps and what sounded like this door moved. Now this is a, this is a heavy door to be fair. It's got it, a brick there. It's got a brick there now. <laughs> Should we close it? Let's see if we can get it to open or... Okay. So the door is there, Griff's over there. Um, we do have a locked off camera in this corner. So what we're gonna do is go into complete darkness. And here we are. In the dark, inside the George Jarvis School. So we're gonna start this investigation like we always start every single one. We're going to introduce ourselves. My name is Ste. I'm here with Griff slash Jason. <laughs> um, now I can't actually remember if we got any names last time we were here. Can't remember. I don't remember. I just remember this was the room where, to be fair, we didn't want to leave it because he was that active. Yeah, and if, if we felt like something was building, didn't we? Yeah, I genuinely didn't get enough time uh, when I was here last in this room. But what we've got set up here, we have, um, I mean, I don't know if this is a good idea to have the two devices right next to the K2. I'll just move them out over a bit. But we've got two ghost tube apps 
up and running. We have the, the K2 as well. That's right next to an Ouija board with the planchette on. <laughs> Yeah, well, they don't seem to uh, have any safety precautions around here uh, because they just leave their Ouija boards with the planchettes on and yeah. open. So. And to a lot of people that believe in that kind of thing, they mean Griff aren't really too... I don't know how much we... No, we don't believe in it. But we have gone to locations and we've done... We've left other planchettes on in some of the most haunted locations and we've wanted everything to come through so we could get that um, evidence. But it's never really happened for us. So again, I just think it's one of those superstitious tales. But I know a lot of people do believe in that and believe in closing the Ouija boards down and whatever. I fully believe in it. You're leaving a portal open. Man, there's a portal open in my cupboard with that Ouija board we've never closed down ever for four years, three. No, no wonder the house is kicking off. I remember last time I sat up here on my own. And when I sat up here, you spoke to me using the K2 meter that's right in front of me now. If that spirit is here with me, if that spirit can hear my voice, could you come back into this room, please? And use the K2 meter. Walk towards that green light that is in the centre of the room. The one that's on the table. We've heard of evil figures in this building. People high up. People that the children looked up to. People that the community looked up to. And you've come into this school and you've abused your power. If these are the people that are left here, the abusers, the horrible people, then come forward. Come and talk to us. We'd like to know the reason why. So what I'm going to do is I like to do this as well, to be fair. I'm going to open the door for you, spirit. If you're outside, if you're downstairs and you can hear our voices, I'll just walk out for a sec. Could you make your way up the stairs? top of the stairs I'm just going to demonstrate how it works if you just go close to it it'll do that so when you walk up the stairs you can play with that you can throw it down you can touch it whatever and then you can walk into this room I'm going to leave it open Okay, remember my name is Stephen. I'm here with Griff, we've been here before. If there's any children that remain inside this place. Keep recording. Okay, we will. Come and join us. We're going to move into the clock tower section. Now, we believe, well, we've been told, actually, that children used to, when they used to get punished, they used to lock them in this section. Is there any children's spirits that still remain in this school? We was getting a lot of words in here earlier when we was with Amy. Suffocate, I believe. Yep, hang, suffocate, torture. If you can see us, 
Could you knock? Could you knock twice? I'm quite anxious just because of the bat. Because I know it's behind me somewhere, flying in them corridors. this camera around the corner yeah man there might be an almighty flipping noise <sighs> hello I can hear something well I know what it is Children, don't be afraid. Make your way into the clock tower. You guys good? Yeah, just someone come say hello. Yeah. Here's the stars of the show, guys. Oh, please. <laughs> hey, look, we even shop at the same store. <laughs> good taste, good taste. Did you get much? I think we did okay. So we just sit in Estes and there was like, it just felt like there was a lot of people down yeah. there. A lot of chatter. Yeah, like lots of different people, not just one person. So. Yeah. We also did a, a new top experiment we've never done before where we, um, Whilst someone was listening to the Estus, we also did Ouija board. Okay. But we don't know, could we had we kept the camera on it, but we don't know what word, letters, words come up. Because yeah. Yeah. I was on the Estus, I couldn't see. And, uh, it reduces the bias of being yeah. able to see the board, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so Plus, we're cool. collaborating with the Ouija brothers, so yeah. we had to use the Ouija board. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's more than we ever do. I don't think <laughs> it's been years since we last year's one. You called the Ouija brothers and never used a Ouija board? <laughs> not, not for about three years now. How good is that? I think the Ouija brothers is more a play on the Mario brothers. We have, so we've come downstairs into the old Victorian science room. We've got the locked off camera just outside. And last time, this is where we heard noises coming from, footsteps and stuff like that. Hopefully we get some stuff again, um, but we're gonna go to the science room. And this is where we got a lot of air activity as well. This room was pretty good. Um, we're just gonna go in the dark as well, aren't we, Jace? Yeah, I'm already in the dark. Let's get straight in the dark. No messing about it, no it goes. Do you remember us from last time? We were here about less than a year ago. Do you remember us? We were in this very room and we was getting some amazing responses. Man, your head, it's just like a ball of light. It's so funny. Well, we've come into the seance room, as Steve said earlier, we've got Ouija board in here with a K2 meter, Mel Rem, ghost tube app on the table. And then we've got a second ghost tube app, and that is on the floor. So 
We've got dolls, haunted dolls. We've got the, it's like a really well set out room for like a, it just reminds me of like an eight, a late 1800s, early 1900s living uh, room slash dining room that, you know, this is where some evil stuff happened or where a ghost would be. It's like a film set. It looks, it looks really, I want you to go. It looks really good. Is this the same spirit that called me a moron earlier? That was when we was walking around with AP. Just in case anyone's thinking, when did he call him a moron? Yeah. I am here, I am listening to you. Is there anything that you would like to say to me? I want you to come into this room that we're sitting in, where me and Stephen are, and I want you to touch one of us on the shoulder. So me and Griffith are right now going old school. We're not even bothering using the LCD display, we're both using the viewfinder. And to be fair, it looks amazing. Makes you feel like you're in a proper horror movie. Yeah. I could just sit here and just look through it. But I know that's not very good for you guys, but... Just there like this. <laughs> yeah. I'll ever say it. Just like that. Spirit, if you want to talk to us. <laughs> we are here all night. Is it a good face? It's weird how what you do with your face when you're <laughs> looking for the view for you. So yes, spirit. We've got the Reverend, Reverend J.R. L. Speak, Stephen. Okay. So, is the Reverend G.R. Elwood, is he still here? How about Mr. Frederick Ramsey? Who's this one? He doesn't have a name. He's nameless. Are any of them still here with us? Leave here. That was on yours. Okay, so we do have a camera in the hall. What we're going to ask for, Spirit, is because a lot of people have heard footsteps down the hall. I'm sure we heard something like that last time we were here. Yeah. So we're going to stay in this room. Could you make your footsteps loud and clear and walk towards that camera, please? We'll pick you up. We'll capture everything. Or could you go one step further and show us the holy grail of the paranormal? A shadow being, a figure. That'd be incredible. So use all the energy that's inside this building and manifest as a ball of light down the bottom of the corridor. and show yourself on camera. So we've teamed back up with Amy and Jared. Um, we had a bit of a break. We've been doing quite a bit to be fair. And right now we're going to do something we've never done on the channel before. I know we've had a lot of requests to do this and I thought, you know what, who not better to do it first with than with Amy and Jared so they can kind of help us through it. So what exactly are we doing right now, Amy? 
This is one of our favorite experiments to do. It's known as the Estes. So essentially we've got Griff, who's been voluntold to do this. <laughs> he's sitting on the couch comfortably next to his friend. He's literally just gonna be listening to a spirit box. If you don't know what a spirit box is, it's essentially a broken radio. So it literally just sweeps through radio stations. Sounds very much like ch 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 but you might get the occasional radio snippet or a word that comes over the top, which some people believe could be a spirit talking. Now this also, it can induce like a, a trance like state. So we're also going to blindfold Griff. So all he'll be listening to is a spirit box and he'll be listening to that through noise cancelling headphones. So he's not going to be able to hear what we say. He's just going to recite what he hears come through the spirit box. So if we ask a question and he directly responds to us, it's a lot more compelling than a traditional spirit box because it's reduced that level of bias to an extent. Um, and yeah, it can also induce a trance like sort of effect on him because he's you know listening to this constant source of white noise, also blindfolded. So yeah, hopefully we can get some of that going because Jared and I have found that's when we get our best most intelligent communication through. Griff, if I can give you one piece of advice as well, if you hear something, um, don't even second guess it. Just try and like, yeah, trance out to the noise. Just say whatever you hear, like don't stop and think about it. Just say whatever you, your first thought is, if that makes sense. No filter. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Griff with no filter. I mean, I'm already, I'm already barely there, like any filter at all. So is he all uh, connected? If you guys want to talk and I'll let you know if I can hear you or not. So has he got the spirit box on right now then? Yeah, I don't think he can hear us. Say if he can hear us, Griff. If you're talking, I can't hear you. Okay, okay. there you go. Beauty. Yeah, so he's literally just hearing like, ch -ch 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 -ch, yeah, like yeah. radio sweeps. Yeah, like um, the white noise. Yeah. So hello, my name is Amy. I'm here with Steve and Jared. And we have Griff sitting on this chair here and he would really love to talk to you. So if you can go up and say anything to him, maybe uh, you can use him to talk and talk to us. Can you say hello? Restless. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, that was creepy. Yeah. Restless. How are you? <laughs> was that who? Yep. Uh, again, my name is Amy. And got Jared here, Steve, and that guy over there, his Griff. I mean, I don't know whether it's just me or not. I can't hear you. I don't know if you just stop talking for a sec. But it feels like this chair's like bumping, like moving up. We found that when we do the Estes, like when you're sort of getting into that trance state, you can feel like you're moving. Or, oh, okay. Yeah, like, so that's good. That's a good sign. Speak. We can use him to speak, yes. Do you have a message for us? Dead. He looks so funny with that doll right next to him. Yeah, I know. I like that. That's just where we sat him. <laughs> and he's got the cap on as well. Can you tell us about that? How did you, um, how do you die, do you know? Crying. You're upset? We don't need to talk about that. If you don't want to. Fuck. Oh, not good. <laughs> yeah, I have that same opinion of school too. Louder. What did he say, louder? Um, louder. Is that like... So Fuck off. It's like, like a loud that? noise. Oh, louder. Like, like, go louder, louder. Louder. The thing about swearing, I don't know if it's common in, in the UK, but would they be swearing on like a radio? radio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you wouldn't not generally hear fuck off on the radio. No, you don't, you don't at all. So yeah. that's interesting. I know George Jarvis is r rumored to be here not very happy with this building being built from his money. There's like an evil hiss just come through. That's like a <laughs> like type, but louder than the sounds that I'm hearing. So it wasn't a word, but. That's weird. 
just as I mentioned, George Drop, because he's like generally upset about yeah. this building having been made. Can you tell us what the name George Jarvis means to you? Run. 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 What do we need to run from? Shut up. Get out. We aren't leaving. Stay. We're not going anywhere. We're not afraid. We're not intimidated. Who are we talking to? Freddy. Is that Freddy? Yeah, Freddy. Yeah, you got a name? <gasps> yeah. Oh, I, I actually... Get out of here. I feel like there's um, a name in the seance room and it's like Frederick. Like a photo oh, on the wall. I, yeah, there could have been. We was, we was calling there, um, asking if there was someone like that here. And you just asked, um, I think you asked, what's your yeah, name or who yeah. am I talking Phil. to? Phil. Yeah, I did. Phil. Phil. Kids. I think we actually got the word dirty or filthy when we were doing our walkthrough. We got the word dirty earlier today. Yeah, did you? And you said something about um, dirty images or, or like... Oh, good. Similar to on our yeah. listies, yeah. Okay. Okay, Freddie is still here. Yep. Can, okay, thank you, Freddie. Can you tell us what you are doing here? I will. Thank you. No. Come on, Freddie. What do you have to say? I want to say... Oh. Maybe she just said, what do you want to say? I feel like it's talking to me, yeah. I think he's I'll just took him off. Oh, he's, okay. he's off now. Oh, man, that was long, was it? Felt like forever. That was... Oh, it was only four minutes. <laughs> Can we just go and check and see if that does save? I think like, we should, definitely. Yeah. What would happen? Um, you were channeling Freddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were channeling some guy called Freddy, and Amy reckons there's a Frederick portrait hanging up in the uh, seance room. Is there? It said Freddy. Um, where is it? Because there's the three of them, isn't there? Like this one? Oh no, oh no that one. Yeah, Frederick. Mr. Frederick Ramsey. Yeah. We was asking is earlier that... if he was here, Frederick. Yeah, okay. I wonder if people might have called him Freddy. That, that's yeah. actually pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing, to be fair. Yeah. And I, the conversation really started flowing towards the end there, like specifically we're asking for Freddy as yeah. well. Um, so that's a good link, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I think that's really cool. I think that was a good session. Yeah. I think it'll be interesting when you watch ours as well because there are some weird ties to some words there too. Yeah. I feel, no, but I feel like you guys, and I don't know if it's this, but I feel like you guys were we're moving this settee. No, we, no, we didn't come we're anywhere touching near this settee or someone no. walked right here. No. Someone was here and there was mess in here. We, um, like I was saying in this video, we've actually experienced that a lot when you're doing the Estes, like sort of feels like a, you can, and I feel like when you're getting like that, you're more getting into like a trance-like state and that's when you get the better communication. And I feel like the longer we did that towards the end, You'll watch it back because, I mean, you won't know how this all pieced together. Yeah. But you really started to sort of respond to us, like, directly. Yeah. Okay, so we have just started the Estes method again. Was it Frederick Ramsey? Yeah, yeah, Frederick Ramsey. Okay, we're calling out to Frederick Ramsey. I don't know if you're otherwise known as Freddie but can you tell us what you're doing here at the school? Bitch. Hmm, bit nasty. Freddy doesn't like you, Ames. Hmm. Dewey. You do? Was he do it? Or do it? What do you want us to do? Communicate. So what do you want us to do? Communicate. 
Yeah, I just said, yeah, I just said, what do you want us to do? Yeah, and he said, communicate. Okay. Well, we're trying. We're doing our best to can understand. You, can you maybe tell us a little bit about yourself? No. No. There you go. Mm, okay. okay. What do you want to talk about then? I'm sure of it. Suspicious. Mm. What's suspicious? What are you sure of? Are you suspicious of us, maybe? And what we're doing here? This and that. I heard that too. You heard that something down there? I'm sure it just says Estes. Can you tell us what, what, what did we just hear? It was something down the corridor, weren't it? That's we all heard that, right? It sounded just yeah. like crazy. She's found her. Oh, God. What has she found? Who is she? Or is, he, or is he saying though, like, we found her, like, just because we've heard her? There. We're looking down there. Down the hallway. In our Estes, there was a lot of talk of her and she, but I couldn't figure out if it was somebody else or directed to me. Yeah. I felt like it was somebody else though. And that. I heard that too. Yeah, there's something down there. I'm sure it just says yeah. Estes. And that. I heard that too. Yeah, there's something down there. I'm sure it just says yeah. Estes. I've got, um, this is just my personal. It's just gone freezing cold. Go to bed. So freezing, I'm freezing all around me. That seems like maybe like a member of faculty, like staff member, teacher maybe? Tell, tell Telling the, the kids, kids off. off. Funny. Yeah. If there is somebody over here near the, the couch, can you go up to one of those red lights? Or the pink light? No. There you go. You got told, Ames. You see yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're asking you to do a lot, but we appreciate anything you can do. Got it. Stephen. Do you remember us from the last time we visited here? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Nice one. Stephen. Hello. Hello, back to you. Are you glad to see us again? Yes. Another one. You've made a friend. I know. What did you think? Oh, I don't know, I feel like I was being attacked at one point. Yeah? Yeah, because I went freezing cold. And then this finger was red hot. And then my arm was here, and I don't know if it was a twitch, but it felt like something just went like that on my arm. But I mean, the thing is, is I can't hear any of you. And so I don't, I'm just saying words out loud. So I don't, I don't even know what you guys are saying. So it will be fun to watch because yeah. it'll be like, well, that fit in there or that didn't. I'm just talking shit there or, you know, it's kind of like you, I just did what you said to do in the, in the sense of basically whatever word you hear, just say it. You told me to uh, fuck off a few times. <laughs> No, honestly, the fuck he, off come through a lot. I think he called me a bitch. So. Yeah, bitch, bitch did come through. <laughs> like that's yeah. some beef. <laughs> that ain't me. It's a fucking spirit. <laughs> Take it up with them. What do you want me to do? I'm, I'm just, I'm just like a guinea pig. That's what I am. That's what you put me on as. You're all yeah. standing there laughing. It does give you a good excuse just to say whatever you want and just blame it on the. Oh no! The but spirit. I thought I was hoping that you had a thing where that records so you could listen to what I actually heard. If, if, that, oh, yeah. if you could do that, that'd be good. Because you can then you do be, that with an extra device. 
Say again. You can do that with an Because that would be awesome. That would because then you could play it. And the audience and can hear it as well. the audience can hear what I heard. And then they can decrypt it for what they think it was. Whereas what I thought it was could be completely different to someone else. But this comes into the fact of the experiment itself. Where, whether a spirit is telling me something to tell you. Do you understand? So the I could think it was something that you'd go. That doesn't sound like that. But... I'm just getting those words as well that are coming through that sound like what I can hear, do you know what I mean? I think we're going to wrap it up right now. It's been an amazing time here at the George Jarvis School. It was incredible to come back to do round two and to bring Amy's Crypt and, you know, well, well Jerry's part of Amy's Crypt. I mean, it, this it, is Amy's Crypt? This is Amy's Crypt. This Thanks is for having us, though. We had a Thank good time. Thank you so much yeah. for inviting us. This yeah, is a really cool spot. Yeah, yeah, so hopefully, you know, we could get to do some small stuff with these guys in the future. A lot of fun. Obviously, go check out Amy's Crypt. I'm sure you guys already know who they are, but it was a lot of fun. Um, the Estes Smith third first time ever on the Ouija Brothers channel, hopefully not the last. I mean, Griff's over there. Hey, did you find it, Jace? It was good, to be honest. Peaceful. I got uh, basically told loads of stuff that I just repeated, so it was just easy. That's some guy, nice go, um, ghost hunting type stuff, ain't eh? like, Just relax, yeah. someone else is telling you what to do. It's just easy, it's lovely, yep. I enjoyed so, it. So, obviously go check out, um, check out Amy's Crips video of, on this place, because they've done a lot of different stuff to us, um, so it's not going to be the same video, it's two totally different videos. And um, I'm going to switch it over to Griff, so for his final words of wisdom, I haven't in the got paranormal. any words of wisdom, to be honest. I mean, you're out. The, my only words of wisdom to you guys at home is, if you want any sleep or any rest, do not ghost on. <laughs> do not do anything with the paranormal. I mean, these stay up later than us. Man, these, these guys <laughs> are hardcore, man. <laughs> these, so my words of wisdom today would be, if you want to live a normal life, don't ghost on. Catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.